Okay, so today's prophetic word is going to be boast in the Lord. Boast in the Lord. So according to Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 23 to, through 24, it says, Thus says the Lord, let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. But let him who boasts boast in this, that he understands and knows me. That I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. So to boast, the definition of boast means to talk with excessive pride and self-satisfaction about one's achievements, possessions, or abilities. It can also mean to brag, to self-praise, to own, or to have. So, God is instructing us not to boast, not to boast in ourselves. God is saying for us not to boast in ourselves and our accomplishments and to be, um, he's talking about having pride and being proudful and having arrogance and thinking too highly of ourselves so god's instructions to us he's basically telling us don't think so highly of yourself god is telling us that if you have real wisdom and then the in jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 through 24 it says thus says the lord let not the wise man boast in his wisdom and let not the mighty man boast in his might so when it says let not the wise man boast in his wisdom and the god is showing us that no matter how wise you are do i'm i say don't boast in your wisdom don't think you so wise that you think you know it all don't be a know-it-all he says let not the wise man boast in his wisdom let not the mighty man boast in his might. So, if you are strong, and you have a lot of might, don't let your strength be the source of your boasting. Because God is showing us that that is not wise. So, let's read it again. Thus says the Lord God, let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. God is talking about riches. Don't let your riches, your money, your wealth, be the source of your strength. Be where you what you rely on. Don't boast and rely on your riches. So he says, let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. But God tells us, but let him who boasts, boast in this. So God is telling us what not to boast in. He says, do not boast in wisdom. Don't boast in might. Don't boast in riches. But let him who boasts, boast in this, that he understands and knows me. God says, but let him who boasts, boast in this, that he understands and knows me. That I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. So God is telling us, do not be boastful. Do not boast about the things of the world. Don't boast about your wisdom. Don't boast about your might. Don't boast about your wisdom. I mean, your riches. But if you're going to boast about anything, God is saying, boast about him. Boast. I say, that's something worthy to boast about. That you know God. That you know the Lord. I say, that you have a relationship with God. That you acknowledge God. And God tells us, for in these things I delight, declares the Lord. That is what God, God delights in us boasting in him. Hey, I see. Giving him the praises that's due to him for all of his goodness that he's bestowed upon us. Hey, I see. God, right now we just thank you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Father, we give you all the praise. Father, we boast in knowing you, God. We boast in loving you, God. God, we thank you for keeping us, God. We thank you for watching over us. We thank you for protecting us, Father. 
Thy will be known on earth as it is in heaven, Lord God. You deserve all the praise, Lord God. You deserve all the glory, Lord God. You deserve all the honor, Lord God. Father, we boast in knowing you. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for loving us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. You're worthy, Lord God. I say, you're worthy, Father. We thank you for your goodness, Lord God. I say, your praise shall continuously be in our mouth, Father. All the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah and amen.